Welcome to the Stroke Cast. A Generation X stroke survivor explores rehab, recovery, the frontiers of neuroscience, and how to peel a banana with one hand. Hello, I'm Bill Monroe, and welcome to episode 68 of the Stroke Cast. Last summer, in episode 24, Mark French appeared on this show to talk about his new film, A Teachable Moment, and to share his own stroke survival story. Earlier in the year, on episode 14, I had also talked with Anne Daly about her part in the film and her stroke story. A couple of months ago, A Teachable Moment made it on to Amazon Prime, so go watch it there. I saw it a few weeks ago, and it is really a nice film. It's a profile of four different people who survived their stroke and then went through recovery, and they share their stories of that recovery process and what all of this means to them. There's also interstitial sections where medical professionals actually talk about what stroke is, how it happens in a very accessible way to folks. So, uh, people can really understand just what's happening and what the mechanism is and they have all sorts of really cool animations and things like that. So, uh, especially if you have Amazon Prime Video, go ahead and check out A Teachable Moment. You can also go to a teachablemoment.film to see more trailers and to learn more about the project. So that was a couple of months ago. At the beginning of May, four years to the day after his initial stroke, Mark French suffered a- another series of strokes. And this time, sadly, he didn't make it. Now, I don't know all the details or the specific cause of Mark's new stroke. Uh, he had been living with AFib, but he was also really into physical fitness, exercising regularly. Um, he was back to skiing and, and just doing things that you're supposed to do, taking his medications and basically living a life that should mean there is no stroke. But of course, Eating right, getting exercise, and treating things like AFib or atrial fibrillation, avoiding smoking, avoiding many illegal drugs, and avoiding excessive drinking are all important ways to reduce your risk of stroke, but they won't guarantee that it won't happen. And that's why it's so important to know the BFAST signs of stroke. 20% of strokes have no known cause, and that's a lot. People who appear to be in perfect health can suddenly have a stroke. Uh, People often don't know they have high blood pressure unless they've been going to the doctor. They may not know they have AFib uh, without an official diagnosis. So it's so important to know BFAST. Balance, eyes, face, arms, speech, time to call an ambulance. Uh, sudden loss or change in balance, sudden loss or change in vision, uh, sudden facial droop, difficulty holding both arms out, sudden slurring of speech are all things that indicate a stroke is happening. And it's absolutely time to just call an ambulance and get the medical system engaged as quickly as possible. Our time in this world is not a guarantee. And having had a previous stroke is not a vaccine. It doesn't mean you won't have another one. Survivors have to be extra diligent because, well, we no longer have as much brain tissue to spare as we may have had before. So my heart goes out to Mark's family, to the whole team behind a teachable moment, and to the folks at LAI Video who made it happen. So now this week, I have some clips from my conversation with Mark last summer. I think this collection sort of gets to the heart of what he was saying in that episode and the story that he was telling through a teachable moment. (laughs) 
it's a big problem, uh, public awareness and uh, sort of the, uh, the myths about stroke, that it's something that only happens to older people. A stroke is equal opportunity. You know, it happens to everyone. You know, men, women, black, white, fit, not fit. So I was, uh, I was very, very fit, and I had no idea that I was at risk for, for stroke. Time is not your friend if you're having a stroke. The doctor who did the craniectomy told my wife and family I had a 1% chance of ever walking again. My oldest daughter took issue with that and said, you don't know my dad. <laughs> But I've learned so much about stroke since then, which I feel is so important that people understand. And that is that it is a massive public health problem in this country. I was astonished to learn that 80% of strokes are preventable. Our goal with the film, A Teachable Moment, has been to promote public awareness, to put really a human face on this terrible disease and to help people understand both the dimensions of the uh, disease, the fact that, it, that, that its reach is broad and wide and to motivate people to do something about it, but also to give people who have had stroke hope. As you know, it's your life changes after having a stroke. And I think it's very, very important to keep hope alive. Atrial fibrillation is very common. In fact, it impacts over 6 million Americans every year. It's not something exotic. It is very, very common. And if you have it, you may be symptomatic. Uh, you may be asymptomatic. So there are a lot of things that you can do, uh, but the most important thing is to educate yourself, have good conversations with your doctor. You know, don't be the ostrich with, you know, your head in the sand. Uh, ignorance in this case is not a virtue. Recognizing the symptoms is very important and getting help quickly is critical, but also going to the right place, going to a comprehensive stroke center hospital where, for example, thrombectomy is available, is going to give you a, uh, an opportunity for a better outcome than if you go to a facility that doesn't have the expertise or the facilities to optimally treat you. So, I mean, what was the best thing about creating the film? I think one, meeting other survivors and uh, hearing their stories, all of which were different than mine, but that had some similarities, and to talk about some of the, the common challenges uh, that uh, uh, we, we had. And I think in engaging the broader public in a conversation, about stroke, uh, th those were things that uh, have been enormously satisfying. So I had been told I would never walk again. He had been told he would never ski again. And when I spoke to his wife, I just said, don't believe it, you know? Uh, in my own case, I'm skiing again, I'm walking, I'm not letting that stroke define me, and I don't believe others should either. So much of recovery depends upon what we do. So much of the conventional wisdom is wrong. It is not the stress that kills it's how you respond to the stress. 
you can find the whole conversation over at strokecast.com slash mark. And that brings us to our hack of the week. Lately in Seattle, we've been having random bursts of hot weather. And hot, scorching weather in Seattle is like 81. Um, but that means it's time to start adding ice cubes to our beverages. But how do we get them out of those plastic ice cube trays? Pre-stroke, I would just grab each end and twist. Of course, now that's something I can't quite do yet, so I had to figure out a new strategy. Now, I take the end of the tray with one hand and smack the bottom of the tray straight down onto the countertop. Sure, it's loud, but once or twice is usually enough to loosen all the ice cubes so I can lift them out with my unaffected fingertips. So next time you use an ice cube to chill a beverage, go ahead and raise a glass to Mark French and to all the others taken from us too soon by stroke. Check out LAI Video's tribute to Mark from the link in the show notes or over at strokecast.com slash mark2. Be sure to talk to your doctor about AFib or atrial fibrillation or other risk factors that you might or might not have. Watch and share a teachable moment with other folks you know so more people can benefit from Mark's legacy. And, of course, as always, don't get best, get better. Thanks a lot. I'm Bill Monroe, and I'll talk to you soon. The Stroke Cast, Bill Monroe, and Bill's guests provide general information and entertainment, not medical advice. Please do not make any changes to your treatment plan or the execution of your treatment plan without first consulting your personal doctor or medical team. The Stroke Cast is a proud production of the Currently Speaking Podcast Network. Thank you.